the coolest thing about the real estate business is that it gives you the ability to, to go as high and as fast as you want to go. And to be able to do this for a 40 year period, actually for me it's closer to 46, that's just cool. He has done more giving, thinking, vision than anybody I can think of. I have known Joe to literally go into a burning building. That happened. I have known Joe and his wife to Santa elf surprise people in the middle of the night and decorate the exterior of their homes. Joe will share anything with anyone. He has an abundance mentality. He believes that there's enough opportunity for all of us. My favorite thing about being in a real estate business, I think bar none, is closing first time buyers. There's just nothing like the excitement of knowing you've got somebody getting a piece of the American dream and you were a big part of that. So for me, I've closed a lot of big deals, all kinds of things I've seen. Being at a closing for the first time owners, that's a blast. It's a high. There's nothing like it in real estate. So at 19, I started selling real estate. I was a sophomore. And uh, my, one of my real estate professors, Steve Pierre, great guy, he said, you ought to go to work on the commercial side with uh, Charlie Davis. Charlie Davis was a great guy. C.A. Davis was his name. He looked at my resume and he said, wait a minute, uh, didn't you sell residential when you were in San Antonio? I said, yeah, you ought to get in residential. And he turned around and he picks up the phone behind his credenza and he dials a number. I don't know what he's doing. Well, he's dialing J.B. Goodwin. And he gets J.B. on the phone and says, J.B., hey, I got a guy you need to hire. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> and he hands me the phone. <laughs> and that's how I ended up going to work for J.B. Goodwin back in 1976. You know, when you look at 40 years in the business, I think what I've learned primarily is real estate is not rocket science. It's not as hard as everybody makes it out to be. It's, it's not hard to learn it, to learn how to write a contract. You learn real estate by doing deals. The more deals you do, the better you get. The more contracts you write, the more competent you get at doing that. Honestly, I don't know that I would still be doing real estate if it wasn't for Joe. There were a few times way back when, when I was struggling. I was young, I was a kid, and he helped me. He took me on projects with him, he taught me a lot. He mentored me, he allowed me to use his office. We ended up sharing an office. We did a lot of things together. We did some developments, I got to help him. He went on listing appointments when I didn't know that I could handle that size of a client. And um, I really think he got me through the hump. Joe was always available to step up anytime he was asked for advice, consultation, uh, to serve on uh, important committees. So he has always been there for the Austin Board of Realtors. Nicest man in the world, will help anybody. And I learned the first day I met him what a genuine soul he really is. He is going to be there to help you. As long as you are succinct in your presentation, he will be fair with you and give you guidance and help you with things. Be it professional, be it a development, be it a commercial deal, be it a residential deal, be it about a sailboat. He's He's that guy. He will always help you. I think legacy comes in, in two forms. Certainly on a business level, I would hope that uh, Keller Williams would resonate in the industry. On a personal level, here's what I hope. I hope when I'm dead and gone, and a group of realtors are sitting around a room, and my name comes up, that they look at each other and go, you know what, he was a great guy to work with. Joe, I am so happy for you. You are so deserving of this award, and I'm glad you got it. You're too modest. You deserve it. Congratulations. You are an example to all of us as to how we should conduct ourselves in our personal and our business lives. I value our friendship, and I thank you for your leadership. Congratulations. I love you, buddy. You are an amazing human being and um, thank you. 
So many people would want to say thank you, I think, um, for what you've done. And you've always been there. You were there from when my kids were born. You've been there for my graduations. And um, you're not just a great real estate agent, broker, friend. You are a wonderful human being.